Hello, Hilary Raven Porter here of State Sacred Star Seed Healing, uh, Full Spectrum Healer and Tamiana Star Seed Oracle. I want to talk today about the narrative that we see a lot happening at the beginning of January. In particular, the narrative about now is the time to do intense cleanses through food and through your physical body. I am here to tell you this is not the time to do this. So. Yes, goes against the general narrative of now is the new year, now is January, let's do this, let's do this. I just did a post too, um, yesterday actually, in regards to what is your new year? When do you actually feel that renewal? Not what they tell you you have to feel, not when they tell you you have to feel it, but when is that time for you of okay, I'm starting to come into this space of wanting to purge, of wanting to cleanse my space. A lot of people that's spring, which is the natural time coming for a lot of people. When I say natural time, I don't mean for everybody, but is the natural time for a lot of people because we're coming out of the dark months, we're coming out of the cold, we're opening the doors, we're opening the windows. We are feeling that springtime. So I'm here to tell you, January is not the time to cleanse. Through food, through those intense, they're intense, herbal cleanses that you find out there, water fasting, those kinds of things. This is not the time to do it. Why is this not the time to do that? And I should put the caveat on that we're talking about Northern Hemisphere. We're talking about those places that get really cold or are into the colder months. I'm not even gonna say really cold. I think we're at plus six or plus eight here in Victoria, BC. Um, but it it's colder, right? This is the time where our body is wanting to be cocooned, is wanting the warmth, is wanting naturally, if we were still, you know, not living in this culture that we live in, if we were more living off the land and stuff, our body is looking to have that little extra padding to keep us warm through the winter. Granted, we're coming out of the holiday season for a lot of people. And even if you're not celebrating the holidays, there are a lot more treats around. There are a lot more of these things around. You can feel heavy and it can seem like, yes, a cleanse is the thing I want to do now because, <clears throat> because I feel yeah, <laughs> from all the foods, all the maybe alcohol, all the different things that I have done over the season. Over December, <clears throat> excuse me, right? So what do we do instead, right? What do we do instead? One, purge your space. Cleanse your space, your actual physical space, not your physical being, but your physical space. Start cleaning it out now. Rearrange things. Bring in that new energy. Bring in that new current. Yeah. If it feels like there's too much in your body, often if you look around you, there's also too much around you. For example, I have two different bins of clothing or areas of clothing. One is my closet and one is this bin that I keep in a different closet. Right? So the stuff in my closet is what am I wearing through this season? And this morning I was like, why do I have some of these things in here? I haven't worn them in months because they're not this season. They're not cozy. They're not warming. So out they come and they go into the bin for the warmer seasons. Instantly, there's this sense of, oh, there's that space. Yeah, because the closet is more clear. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's also a chance to be like, why am I even holding on to this? Right? And into the donate bin it goes. If you are looking and your body is being like, okay, you know what? I need to come back to center. I need to recalibrate. Focus on whole foods. Focus on organics as much as you can. Check out the dirty dozen and the clean 15. Because sometimes we can't afford to eat all organic understandable at the end of the So then there's choices that we make and we say, okay, you know what? These are the foods that are the dirty dozen. So they're the ones that have the most toxins on them or the ones that they use the most different chemicals and stuff as they're growing them. So these are the foods I'm going to focus on organic. <coughs> and then the clean 15 are the ones that you can focus on. Um, as it's okay if they're not organic, but leaning into organic as much as possible, increasing your fluid intake, 
reducing those foods that are high in the sugars, that are high processed, that are high in stimulants. I'm looking at you, chocolate. Chocolate has benefits as medicine, but when it's ingested in certain quantities, and when it's mixed with other things, because often it's not just a 90% chocolate bar, right? It's all these other things attached to it. That's where we notice the challenges. And again, so this is a major stimulant. It is a major stimulant on our digestive tract, our bowels. It's a purgative. And from what I see a lot of, and what I also <laughs> experience a lot of, um, a lot of, there is a lot of digestive challenges happening for the collective because it's not just about digesting food it's about digesting our reality as well and our reality is is a little dicey and if you're a star seed you're like what is this human body if this is your first time in this human body you're like oh goodness i don't know what to do with this thing so you're digesting so much more than just food yeah experiences emotions all of this stuff well we don't need more stimulation on our digestive system for that Reducing your stimulants, like we talked about, so, so to chocolate, coffee, things like that. Now, when I talk about reducing your sugar, you're still going to have a little bit of sugar in things, but look for the whole sugars. Avoid the synthetic sugars. The more you take sugar out, in even those stimulations of this taste sweet, so we're talking like stevia, xylitol, the, all the synthetic stuff, right? I'll talk about stevia in a minute because I know it's a plant. The less we actually need to feel satiated and eventually we don't even really crave it and then when we have a piece like we'll have like a date and we're just like oh this is amazing and it's like perfectly sweet and perfectly nourishing and you don't need as much. Now craving sweets lean into things like blackstrap molasses so we're talking high in iron as well a little bit of blackstrap molasses uh dates you can only eat so many dates before you're like i'm oh whew, i'm done but they're also high in minerals they're high in fiber and they're a little sweet one of my favorite things to do is make a chocolate hummus so literally chickpeas i use carob powder and then a little bit of honey some cinnamon mix it all together make it all you know hummusy and then you put that into a date there you go you got your protein that's sustaining as well right and then the cinnamon helps buffer um, your blood sugar regulation by buffer i mean it helps with your blood sugar regulation now so i was going to talk a little bit about stevia real quick stevia Oh, it seemed like the saving grace, right? It seemed so amazing. You're like, yes, I'll have stevia instead of sugar. So good. Stevia has been shown in many research studies that it actually amplifies the sensations of anxiety. It amplifies the nervous system. Now, how did I discover this? I discovered this because I was working at a a grocer, a specialty grocer, and we got in these new treats and they had stevia in them. And I was like, oh yes, cause I, you know, cane sugar in my body are like, no thanks, it doesn't feel good. And so I was eating these and I was like, what is going on? Cause I started feeling more sensations of anxiety. Um, I have a nervous system condition. That was all I have. I experienced a nervous system condition and that was all amplified. It was crazy. And I was like, what has changed in the last few days? And it was these treats. So I looked what was in them and there was stevia. So I started going in and diving down those rabbit holes and found all these research studies. Now, it's not clear if it's whole plant, because often when we have a whole plant, there's other things in the plants that buffer other things in the plants, right? They're a whole plant for a reason. Right? Mm or if it's just the extracts that happen, right? So something to just notice, I didn't know that If you've taken out sugar, but you're like, oh, I'll do stevia, but I won't do xylitol and all those things, but you're doing stevia, notice, are you feeling amplified? It could be the stevia, okay? Another one, so we talked about less processed food. Yeah, we're still gonna have like yogurts and stuff like that, but this is another culprit that's out there that we can also remove and we can look at removing. This is why when we go to whole or foods, you know, like fresh fruits, fresh veggies, grains, stuff like that, that we're cooking on our, for ourselves or baking ourselves, we don't have these other things in them. So natural flavor is another one, that's a big one. 
it might not be natural anymore. It started out natural, but it could have just as many chemicals through the process of its, I'm gonna say reduction, through its processing to get to natural flavor, as many chemicals as if you just went artificial flavoring. Crazy, hey? And you're only gonna know if you call the companies because they don't put on there what that actually means. So just something to be cognizant of. So, so I'm saying so a lot of this one. That's okay. So not these cleanses, but cleansing your body in a different way, bringing it back to center through whole nourishing foods, fluids, teas, bone broth, bone broth amazing. Highly recommend doctoring it up if you're getting the bone broth powder. It can sometimes not be that tasty. So things like you can do lemon, you can do ginger. I really like the lemon, the ginger, a little bit of salt or tamari. Uh, ginger lemon, not ginger lemon, dill lemon. So amazing as well. A little bit of salt. Drink it back, add it to your rice. Those kinds of things, yeah? So cleansing by bringing you back to center with whole nourishing foods. Teas, lean into your tea realms. Lean into those digestive teas. We're talking ginger, we're talking chamomile, yeah? Ginger is amazing. Ginger lemon. Oh, right there. You have a gentle cleanse. Matito. So, oh, milky oats too. Huh, yes, milky oats. Oat straw. Also, oat, milky oat seed. So good. Uh, caution if you are celiac and also with the chamomile if you have an allergic reaction to um, asteraceae, which you know you will. You will know if you have an allergy. I take that quizzy. When is the best time then to do a cleanse? Now, I see that. The best time to do a cleanse, we're talking late spring. Late spring, early summer. Depending on how warm it gets, how quickly it gets, wherever you're at. Yeah? Because Northern Hemisphere, are like, we in Victoria, we warm up quicker than, let's say, Northern Alberta. Yeah? Best time. The reason why this is the best time is because it's starting to get warm out. We're, we're naturally starting to eat less. Yeah, and with the warming, because cleanses are cooling, they are purgative, they are pulling things down and out. That's cooling on the system. We don't want that in the middle of winter. <laughs> no, we want cozy, warm, nourishing. Yeah? So I hope that gives you a little bit of insight. I know it goes against the general narrative right now. We are in the new year for a lot of people. We are in 2023 for a lot of people. It's that, yes, let's go. It's the newness. It's the, but does it feel right for you or does it feel forced? Does it feel pushed? Does it feel like it's happening just because of what the holiday season just brought? An overload of food, a load, overload of different beverages, an overload of emotions. A overload of intergenerational patterns and traumas and habits and all of that and we're overwhelmed so what do we do we pare it down we'll pare it down to the nourishing okay uh i'd love to hear your comments on this i'd love to hear your views on this I'd love if you follow along as well. <laughs> uh, so wherever you're watching this, you can either press the subscribe button or you can click the follow button. Uh, yeah, and if you have any questions, any con any concerns, huh? questions, concerns, comments, uh, please reach out and let me know. Yeah, so much love and stardust. And we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye for now.